Lisa here, documenting my adventure a bit. Oh, the music is just getting started outside my window. Gotta love it. I am here in Marseille, France. You can see the beautiful old port behind me. And uh, I didn't know I was gonna be here two days ago. I was in Sardinia with a bunch of girlfriends and I had just finished dropping my youngest daughter off in Boston for university. She's starting college. Youngest one out of the nest. Went to meet the girls for a week in Italy because that just felt way more fun than going back to her empty room. And I had another week where I didn't know where I was gonna go. I, I'm still on it actually. I have a week or two here that are very free. And I wrote in my journal doing my little God practice. If you know me, you know I like to do the sort of conversations with God writing. It has directed a lot of my career. Um, my personal life and so many of the wins that I've enjoyed and in my writing I literally said father where should I go after leaving the girls in Sardinia and the answer I got very clearly was lean into Marseille and I didn't even know I had to look up to make sure that was France I didn't know what the proximity was I was shocked to see that from the island of Sardinia off of Italy it was literally just a little hour direct flight when I checked the flights, there was one seat left on a direct flight exactly on the day that I wanted to go. And now, like 48 hours later, here I am. I haven't even walked out the door yet. So this all kind of came about from doing this practice for a really long time. And then a really close girlfriend of mine, Jennifer Hootie, sharing with me that she was re-listening to the book, The Surrender Experience by Michael Singer. And it just, it, there's something about it that rang true in my ear when she said it. So I listened to it on my trip. And literally every walk I took, I was just surrendering and following the illuminated path all the way to, you know, take me from literally a gorgeous island in Sardinia to now here to find out what Marseille has in store for me. I've got a lot going on. I'm, you know, cooking up a, um, a new program to help uh, folks that would like to be able to use the mastery that I've used for the last 15 years that I created around the Irresistible Offer to certify other people to be able to really do what I've done with the Nail Your Offer content, but with their own personal flair. I've wanted some writing time for that. I'm very passionate about it. Um, I need help because after five years of being semi-retired, I'm still like busy as I'll get up. So I need more people to know how to do this. And so I was looking for a place to write, a place that felt beautiful, where I could walk and shop and eat and feel safe and go on some adventures. I want to do some kiteboarding. I want to do some e-biking. I want to, um, there's a national park near here that I'm going to do definitely some kind of water sport in. So here we are. Um, anyway, I just wanted to share because the adventure is unfolding right before me. I imagine I will share a little bit more and who knows, you know, where it's all leading. I just know it feels really good. And um, I'm very, very grateful for the practice. Uh, it's called Active Imagination by Tim Kelly. It's called Automatic Writing and other, um, you know, by, by other teachers. But it's kind of like that conversations with God kind of script journal writing that really has carried me, as I said, through my personal life, through my career, um, with making great choices that have turned out really, really well. So anyway, just wanted to share. I'll give you one more little peek of the, the view out my window here. It is just so stunning. And uh, I'm going to actually go out there and find out what Marseille has in store for me.